Prolin PLN. In this demo, I'm going to show you how we can work with existing 2D data, bring it into 3D solid edge part environment, and then also take it back to a 2D environment. Also, how you show you how we can work with some imported 3D data as well. So to start with, I'm going to go uh, and open up a file. And I have this file saved out on my desktop. And this is just a DWG file. I can go into the options here. I can preview uh, that DWG file, see what it's going to look like when I open it up. In this wizard here, you can go through the different steps, and I can choose how I want the AutoCAD line types to map to a solid edge line type, or the colors, or things like fonts. So you can make sure that your AutoCAD files open up exactly the same way uh, inside of solid edge. So I've got this all set up already. I'm just going to do an open, and we'll open that up into a drawing file. Um, with our AutoCAD files, the layers will come across. In this case, maybe I need to hide one of those layers to hide some of my center marks. What I'm going to do then is a command called create 3D. This allows me to take these drawings and add them to a file. In this case, I'm going to add them just to a part file. What I'm going to do then is pick the views that I want to take over into that drawing or into the part file, excuse me. So I'm going to select my front view and then my second view here. You also notice the uh, dimensions are being highlighted. We're going to bring those with us into the, the part file. So I've got a fold line. It's going to fold these two views when I hit finish and bring them into my part environment. So now I have my two views together in the part environment and we're in the synchronous part environment. So the cool thing about synchronous is with our sketches we create areas called regions. I can click inside those regions and I'm able to just extrude that up. Using that sketch in the background, I can easily grab a key point. Uh, I can come down here, grab another one if I need to, and snap those sketches, or my uh, extrusions, to the, the existing sketches in the background. All my dimensions now have attached to the actual 3D model. So I can go in and I can make these locked driving dimensions and key in a value. Maybe I need to come over and change this height. I want to make that 50. I can come in and change the thickness maybe of the base and I want to drive that down and make it 15. So I have the flexibility to edit all of those 3D dimensions that actually came from the 2D AutoCAD drawing. I can also come in and maybe select a specific feature like this hole uh, and the radius around it. I can move both of those and with design intent you see it's moving the other corners for me as well. So maybe I want to drive that out in 12 millimeters. I can then come in and select maybe this radius edit that value, make it 46 to make the part a little bit thicker. So whatever I need to do, I can make any sort of change that I want to to the model. Now we're done with the actual uh, 3D model, so we're going to save that out uh, and take it into a 2D drawing now. So we'll take it back to 2D inside a solid edge. So I'm going to create a new drawing of the active model. I'm going to take it into what we call a quick sheet template. So we'll take that part in there and you see it's automatically retrieved those dimensions that I had on the 3D model. So I don't have to waste time again recreating them back in the drawing. So I've taken the drawing and all the dimensions from a 2D AutoCAD drawing into a 3D synchronous part and now back into the 2D environment. So uh, some really cool options that we have there inside of Solid Edge. ProLin PLN.